Hey everyone, Sam Signorelli, HOM Fencing. Welcome back to Icones Armory. Today, let's talk about control tags. So I went over this in an earlier video, but I'll spend a little time on this right now. So when we put these control tags on at national, regional events, whatever, uh, its purpose is to tell the referees this gear has been checked. So it's always the same color tag um, on the body cords and the mask cords for the whole tournament. But when you get to another event that has these, you want to take these off. Um, for example, uh, San Jose NAC, I worked last week. The tag was blue. We went all the, we went all the tags off because all the tags had to come off. Although I did tell an Olympian, no, leave the Tokyo one on, that stays. Um, at a regional I'm working right now in Pasadena, we don't care about the blue tags. We want the red tags off because that's what we're using this, this, this time out. So you can cut them. You can chew them off. What we like to use is a seam ripper. Okay? If you look real careful here, here is the seam ripper. There's a little sharp point here. And you see the beveling right here? That's the blade, okay? So you not do is pry it up. You take the, take the point of the seam ripper, put it under the tag, like so. You're not gonna pull up. You're gonna push forward with the blade cut it. Do not point it toward yourself. If you do, you'll stab yourself. I will laugh at you and then say, you attack, why you don't take Betty? Cut away from you, so if it pops loose, you won't hit anybody like this. Boom, and that comes off. And ready for the next control tag to go on, where it be it a same color or a different color. That is how you use a seam ripper to easily move a control tag from your body cords. Please do it before every event. As always, happy armoring. 